Welcome to Board Game Empire. We're going to be showing you how to play a full playthrough and review of Verdant. So this is a fairly strategic game where you're building your home with particular rooms and flowers and you're trying to get the most points by um, optimizing the placement based on what lighting condition, uh, the color of the plant that matches the room, um, the items in the place in the room that also match the color. So there's several ways to stack up on the points that you get at the end of the game. So it's a point salad game. Um, and you're building things in your tableau, which is called your home. You're building a five, a three high by five wide grid of cards. It has to be exactly that. And they have to alternate room and plant. You can't have two plants beside each other or two rooms beside each other because the whole idea of the game is you have these room cards with a lighting condition on all four corners. And then you have plant cards with particular criteria of what kind of lighting it prefers. So you're trying to match up the lighting of that corner of the room with the lighting preferred with the flower. You don't have to do it, but um, you will be losing out on points if, if, if you don't, because if you match the lighting with the room, you get to place a verdant on there and we automatically get a verdant on each of our plants because we have matched up the lighting with the with the room. So each time you do that and place a plant and any matches, say you place a room in between two or three plants and it matches up all three of them, you get to put a verdant on each of those plants that matched up to that room lighting. Um, if you place the same color, here I'll just do it on his, same color item, see it's yellow, has the same background, that doubles the amount at the end of the game that you would get for having a yellow plant adjacent to this card. So you get one additional victory point for each yellow plant, and there's none out there, but the yellow is right here. It has, a, it has the picture of the flower there, but if it's yellow, it's the same that's the, it matches so for each yellow plant that has yellow here you would get one point without the item for each of them adjacent two points if you have that same color item in the room for each adjacent yellow plant so you could see how you could stack up the points um, you also get points when you complete a plant so you could see this number here is the amount of verdant required, the number on the little leaf, to complete that plant. So mine requires eight. When I complete that plant, I will get eight points at the end of the game. And mine only requires six, uh, but I only get five points. But to bump up those points, when you complete the plant, you get to choose one of the pots. Of course, you're gonna choose the one with the higher points. This There's only three of each of these, and then the rest is all terracotta pots, which are worth zero additional points. So if you happen to be one of the first three to complete a plant, you would put that there on your pot. That's three plus the eight. So you would get three bonus for the pot and eight for your plant at the end of the game. This card would be worth 11 points. So you're trying to complete your plants first so you can get those higher victory point pots on your plant before your opponent or opponents do. We're playing the two player setup obviously, so we only have three of each of those pots available. They go up with the more, more players you have. So setup is really easy on this game. You have your plant cards, you shuffle them, you deal one to each player, then you turn four up in the market, there will always be four in the market. You draw items and nurture tokens. The nurtures are green. Those give you special uh, actions you can do to help your plants. And the item cards or item tokens are the ones you place in the rooms to try to bump up your points. So on the nurture actions, they have 
um, player aid cards to help you. If you get fertilizer, which is a bag, it looks like a bag of fertilizer, you can add up to three verdant on one plant. These are worth three, and the little green ones are worth one. So you could put up three verdant on one plant if you spend that fertilizer. The hand trowel, you can add one verdant to up to three plants. So that would help you spread the verdant across three. The watering can, you can add one verdant to any of the plants adjacent to a single room. So if you had all four corners and the plants weren't completed, you can add a verdant to each one of those plants if you chose that room to be your single room. Um, you get thumb, he gets to start the game with thumbs up tokens. The first player, which will be me, does not get any. Second player gets two, and if you have more players, each of them only receive one thumbs up token to start the game. At special actions cost two thumbs up tokens to do, and they tell you right here on the top of your or green thumb actions, you can spend two to replace any number of tokens. So you could actually remove all of these, draw four more, two of them, one to four tokens, you can totally refresh. Um, you can spend two to replace any number of cards that are out in the market. There's rooms and plants, as long as they don't have a thumbs up on them. And I'll explain why they have thumbs up in a few minutes. You can draft any card and, or any token. The rule of the game when you're playing you're choosing from one column. So when you're choosing, you're either gonna choose a room and the item or the plant and the item. You can't choose two cards. It has to be the item and one of the cards. The one that wasn't chosen gets a thumbs up token on it. So when you're refreshing the cards, any that have thumbs up tokens cannot be refreshed. If you don't want to use that item right at that moment, you do have one storage and one only that you could put it there to use later. Once that's full and you don't use the next item you get, you can either trade it, put that one on there and get rid of this one. One of them will be going away. But you want to try to use them or try to not take those if you don't have the storage. Um, otherwise, you're just they're just going to be discarded from the game. Um, the room cards, as you can see, there's how many colors are there? Four? Five. Yeah. Blue, purple. Let me see how many colors they are. Five colors. Pink, yellow, purple, blue, and orange. So they are in-game points for collecting one of each color in both either the rooms or the plants. So um, you do want to try if you can. It is difficult to do that because you're limited to what's out in the market unless you want to spend thumbs up tokens, but um, that's part of the strategy in this game. Do you want to just try to match up to optimize your points with your rooms, or do you want to try to get those in-game victory points of having um, one of each of the types of plants or one of each of the types of rooms? Um, where was I, where was I at? I forgot. I forgot. You were uh, doing the scorn. The, okay, the <laughs> so five the, different the colors. setup is very easy. I was on the setup and then I got distracted. <laughs> so um, that's that's it on the setup. So then to play the game, when I'm going first, so basically that's what I was going over. You pick a card and an item, put a thumbs up, and then you will refresh it at the end of your turn. Um, you put a thumbs up on the one that you didn't take. Yeah. And then if you check your lighting condition, wherever you placed either the room or the plant that you chose, if the lighting condition matches the plant that it's adjacent to or plants, you put a verdant on it. Um, you then have the opportunity to spin thumbs up. You can spin as many as you want as long as you have them. You can use your item, do that action right away. And then it switches over to the next person and it just goes back and forth until um, we have completed our five by three grids. And of course, we're going to do it at the same in the same round because we're both um, going one right after the other. Hopefully. <laughs> and the other, the only other in-game thing that's part of this, you can use these if you want or not, but they are um, public goals. There's the item goals. So this one is 
two for each matching pair of pots. So if you have two of these, two of these, two of these, or two of these, so that's a way to get points on those terracotta pots that are normally worth nothing. You'll get two points each for a pair. Um, this is the plant goals. And again, these are public goals that we both can work towards. Two for each plant with two or fewer verdancy achieved. So at the end of the game, if you have a plant where you just put it down and really don't have any or less than two verdancy, at least you're going to get two points for it. These are actually good goals. Um, this one is the room goal. And it's one point for each room with lighting conditions perfectly matched to all adjacent plants. So if you match them all up, you're going to get one additional point. So these, honestly, I didn't focus on these at all. They were more bonus for me. I mostly focused on my home getting optimum points for the plants that I've got there and hope that I meet one of these goals. That's how I did it. But I, maybe, who knows, maybe I'll have a chance to... Yeah. Control that more here that way have room okay so that's something we will be looking at at the end it does have a little score pad and at the end of the in the book it has the end game scoring so you, you score for completed plants extra verdancy on incomplete plant plants for every two verdancy you have on a plant that you didn't complete you get one point um Bonus pot tokens, that's when you score those. The room bonuses, which is if they're doubled, either one or two points for each plant um, that matches the color. Furniture and pets, this is where you get your bonus for having, also if you have on these, which are the furniture and pet items, um, based on the number of unique ones you have, you get a certain amount of points anywhere from one to eight unique items, you'll get one through 25 points. So you're going to get points no matter what, as long as you have a few items, but it's for each unique one. If you have a pair of something, that wouldn't count. So for each unique item that you have, it will get more points. The decorator bonus is um, for having one each of five different room types, and the plant collector bonus is for having one each of five different plant types. You get three points for if you accomplish either of those or both, three points each for each one. And then of course we have those uh, bonus cards. So it's fairly straightforward, easy game. So I'm gonna go first and let's see, mine wants to, so he likes pink. So and there is a pink one out there. And you can store one item. Yeah, I did tell him that. Uh. <laughs> And the green thumbs so on I'm going to go for this pink plant since my room is pink. I put a thumbs up on the one I did not take. And this one likes bright, half light, or, or like dark. So the dark's already taken. So, pretty much I, need so I need to decide whether I want to put it here or here. Which way do I want to go with this? Because I'm limited to three going up. So if I put it here, that's it going up and down. If I put it here, it allows me, it gives me more options. So I think I'm gonna put it here because that gives me a variety of lighting left. I do get a burnish because it matches. Um, this item token is not helpful right now, so I'm gonna store it and hopefully we'll get a yellow room soon to put it in. So we refresh the plant and the item. Okay. I'm taking this one. So he matched the lighting. Um, so he gets a verdant on that plant. And he will get a bonus point in the game because it's purple and he put it beside a purple room. Okay, so I'm going to take this yellow room 
and I got lucky. It does match up with the lighting for both my plants. Sorry. So we get avert it and avert it. And as you know, I have that item for a yellow room. So now that will double any points for yellow rooms that's adjacent to that card. You can use more than one token. So if I want to use this, I can. This one gets me at one verdant to up to three plants. So I might as well do that. Or should I wait? Actually, I'm going to wait till I have at least three plants. Yeah, and you'd already give yeah. a thumbs up. Oh, and I didn't mention you have to keep the cards in the upright position. You can't flip them around upside down or sideways. So as long as you can read the writing right side up, you've got the card positioned the correct way. So he's using his fertilizer. Which gives me three, I think, isn't it? Yeah, so this one's- Up to three to one plant. So, so that means he completed that plant. So he gets a pot. So he will get Five points plus three at the end of the game for that plant. Right, thumbs up for this one. And I don't think I'm going to use my thumbs to draft any car plus token. Okay. No, that's in lieu of your. You don't get an extra action for that. Oh, yeah. yeah. It just allows you to break the rules on yeah. your during your turn. All right. Your turn. Oh, and when you take the cards out of the market, if they have thumbs up on them, you get those cards or get those thumbs up. It's kind of a bonus. Okay, so this is fertilizer. I can add up to three to one plant. I'm gonna put it on this one that needs eight. And then this, I, can, I don't have enough plants yet to optimize, so I am done. Let me use my thumbs up. I'm gonna grab this one. Okay. Here. Oh, he's doing his where he can take any card, any item. And this. Okay. That's normally you wouldn't be able to do that, but he broke, he was able to manipulate that by spending thumbs up tokens. So I get one. It's only connects to one. Okay. So. Which one did you put down? This one. And then this. Oh, so. Yeah, the lighting isn't matched up. Actually, yeah. did the lighting the mat lighting match up for both of them? So you get two. Oh yeah. So I yeah, any that you match up, I was looking at that. you get a burden for. Right. So you didn't take that one. This one. Okay. So you done? Yep. Okay. So. So the lighting matches. Get thumbs up. And the fertilizer, I can add up to three to any one plant. I'm going to do it to my, actually, no need to get them out, my fiddle leaf fig. So that helps me complete that pot or that plant. So I put the pot on there and it's worth 11 points at the end of the game. And you did my Easy. thumbs up, right? Okay, and let's see if I'm going to use. I still can't use this one because it's uh, not beneficial. Okay, I'm going to do the thumbs up again. Number two. Yep. Oops. So they matched up with both his room lighting conditions, so he gets two verdant. 
And did you put a thumbs up on that one? No. Burn out. And I'm going to have to use this. I can put one on up to three plants. So, yep, so I'm just going to put it on the two that I have. And you two. I'm going to grab this one, these two. This gives me, let's see, head up to one to three plants. I don't have to replenish it, so I'm just going to hold off. Okay. So I'm going to put this in storage and I'm going to have to use this one, which is uh, one of three plants. And that completes that one. Um, you put this here. Did you put the thumbs yeah. up? And let's see. So I complete this one. I get the last three point pot and I think I'm going to spin my three thumbs up to, put, to finish this one. And I get the two point pot for that one. Okay. Okay, I am going to. Hmm. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to use this. So one in each room. To three. So I finished this one. Do this. It's your turn. Okay. That's my little yellow plant. Oh, it doesn't match the lighting. Mm. But it'd be worth two points. So it's definitely worth it. So I'm gonna put it down here. But do not get a burden on it. Um this one is one to any of the plants adjacent to a single room. I think a little I guess I'll do it. This one. Okay. I just need the. Did you do thumbs up? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, 
Let's see. Spin thumbs up if you want to. You know what? I did this wrong. I spent three thumbs up and got three verdants. I should only got one verdant. Which one did I finish? This one. So it's not finished. I needed seven. So. That puts me back at five on that one. I makes you think that you could get three. But I did do, I don't know, I was doing one for one. So, and I did the one burden. So, sorry, I went backwards. I did that wrong. But that's not complete. I still need one more. When did you do that one? Last turn. Oh. I spent three, three thumbs up and I got three pieces instead. It should have been six thumbs up. So... I got one thumbs up back, I put two of the verdant back, and then I'd gotten one when I used my water thing. Sorry. At least I remembered. <laughs> mm. Okay, so now it's my turn. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna get this one. Actually, wait, that will benefit me, this one. Let's see, let's see it. Can you see mine? All right, now I guess it must be up here. Okay, so I got this. Add one to any of the plants adjacent to a single room. So. Sorry, everything's so squished together. It's limited space. So I can only put a single room, right? Mm -hmm. So I only pretty much only allow you to do one. Oh, I got the one for my. My turn? Yeah. Fertilizer, add three to one plant. So I am going to add three to that one. And so I can. Okay, so now it's my turn. Um, let's see what I'm going to do. I'll use my thumbs up. Grab this one. And I think that's the three one, yeah. Let's put this one here. And since this is three, let's put that right there. I'm going to grab this and this, so I'm going to put it here, and it matches up with this one and this one, and I'm going to put this guy here, 
I am going to use four thumbs up to place two and I would complete both these rooms. Why am I grabbing One more verdant completes that one. One more verdant completes this one. So now I've legally obtained that pot. <laughs> and I'm done. My turn. Mm -hmm. oh, why did I put a verdant on there? It's already completed. <laughs> No need to put verdant on completed plants. Oh, I messed up. What? Oh, yeah, you can't put a plant beside a plant. It's going beside a room. So you gotta put it beside one of your rooms. There it would get a verdant. That's actually a good spot because we got a purple. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, so it's still my turn. I'm going to grab this one. Help me, but they'll give me one for each one. One for each one, what? Here and here. Hmm. Need to put a token. I can't reach it. Item. And so I finish, let's see. Yeah, finish this one. Four. Seven, yeah. <laughs> And I do this one, get three, finish this one, all right. Okay, so I'm going to take these and put this here. It does not match the lighting conditions, but I can put my item token on each of those. Care to do the thumb thing? Yep. Okay, that's Anthony's go. I'm do this. So that gets one in each one of these. And I also got this. Add one to any room. So this actually. You add one to any of the plants adjacent to a single room. So one, this, these two, huh? Mm -hmm. And that's it. Didn't match any of them, but you're kind of limited at this point. Can you put an item hook in this case? Okay. So let's see, I'm on. Grab this one. Can you put the item there? Actually, I could spend two to do as many as I want, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do four. 
Okay. Or two burn. Yeah. And finish this one. Actually. Yeah. One of the green masses, so one of the lighting conditions. This one at one of the three plants. So this is the next to last round. Yep. Round. Oh, that was kind of luck. So, add one to any of the plants adjacent to single green. And let's spend. To do that, and I'll just keep them. My turn. Mm -hmm. Can only have five max, so I have to get rid of one. Or is that at the end of the turn? That's it in the turn. Um, have five max. Okay, so I am. So this one gets. Let's see. Two. Two. Okay, I'm gonna spend two. This one gets one. Why? Oh, it's completed. Never mind. I'm gonna do this. So you got one. So one. Yeah, I'm gonna use all my thumbs up. Okay. And finish that one. All right. So now it's in game scoring. This is where it gets uh, the easiest way to do it, I think, is to do, I think it said left or right. It's the easiest way to do the scoring. I can't remember where I saw that, but it's kind of easier if you go in, in logical order. Um, so let's see who won. You really don't know in this game until the end. We were, we were pretty, we were, uh, Eight points apart last game. Okay, so first is completed plants. So you don't count the bonus point points, you just count the plants points. So I did worse than that. Really? I got 46. Wow, you did way better. I didn't complete that many plants. You're not counting the pots, are you? You're mm. counting just the... Oh, no, it's actually this five. Okay, yeah, wait, five. I know, I, I know that I was counting the red, 27. the green. So. Three, four. I did worse. You did better on that. Okay, then you count the extra vertency. So for every two, you get one point. I have six, so I get three points. He has two, so he gets one point. Then you count your pot bonuses. So five, eight, ten. 
eight. Okay. Then we count the room bonuses. So you would go from left to right. So this has no matching plants. This has one matching plant. So that's one point. Doesn't have to be the same color. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This one has one, two matching plants at one point each, so I'm at three points. This one has two matching plants at two points each, so I'm at seven. This one has two matching plants, two points each, so that gets me four more. This one has one matching plant, so it'd be 12. This one has two matching plants, so for four points, and this one has two matching plants, so I have a total of 18, I believe. Oh, I have 19. I'll that again. Sixteen. I was right. Sixteen. First time. Okay, so you have zero, zero, one, two, so that gives you three points, two, four, six, that gives you nine. Plus this one. I did that one. Two, four, six, gives you nine. Oh, so 11, 0 for this one. This one you have 3 times 2, so you're at 17. Is that what you got, 17? Yep. yep. All right, then we do our furniture and pet bonuses. So I have 9 bonus points. How many do you have that are different? Um, 1, 2... Three, four, five, six. Wow. Sixteen. You kicked my butt this game. Okay, I do have one of each room. I don't have one of each plant. So I get three points for the room. I don't have one of each room. Do you have a plant? One of each plant? Um, I think so. No, you're missing the blue. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll go for these skulls. We're almost done. So the plant goals, two for each plant with two or fewer virgency achieved. I've been better off not to put those on there. So I, I get one. two points. Two points. And two points. Okay, pot pairs for each pair of matching pots. I have two, I have one. Four, four. And for each room lighting conditions perfectly matched all adjacent plants. Nope. I have one. Nope. This one. One. Wait, are each room with the lighting condition perfectly matched? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I have one. Two. Three. They're all adjacent or met all the adjacent ones match up. Yeah, five. Really? Every one matches. This one has those two. All right, so five. Yep.
at 75. Wow, I did poorly this time. We flip flopped. Last game was 84 to 76. This game was 86 to 75. Yep. So it always seems to be like a eight to nine point difference. Um, I won the first game, he won this game. So you really don't know until the end of the game who's gonna win. It's hard to, to really, cause you're kind of doing your own thing. Um, it's really hard to Focus on yours and try, because there's really no take that in this game. The only take that you could do is if you I thought you did because you were through. taking these that I needed. No, I wasn't paying attention to anything. I was just trying to get all the colors, if I could, of each plant and each room. That was my goal. I wasn't really paying attention because I was focused more on optimizing, and it did not work out for me. My, I should have... Focus more on completing plants like I did before. <laughs> yeah. I was trying a different strategy. So for me, when I my first game, I was trying to complete the most plants the fastest. I was worried more about matching the room conditions. Whereas this game, I was worried more about getting a variety of plants and rooms. And that hurt me because I missed out on verdant because I couldn't match the room conditions. And just so I believe... Completing plants is your best strategy. Uh, mine was more of uh, trying to get pick up these, um, I call it, the items. Yeah, those help if you have the right plants around it. Yeah, and then I was trying to focus on the, also the, the end game goals. Yeah. But for the most part, I was just, the rest I was hoping would just fall in line. Mm -hmm. I was focusing on the items. I was trying mm -hmm. to get items to match because mm -hmm. that doubles mm -hmm. your points. But yeah. Um, so we're going to do a quick review. So what do you think of it? Uh, I give it like an 8, 8, 8.3. It's really, I think it's really good. Yeah, uh, this game feels very familiar to well, me. It feels familiar. It's the same company in this AEG and uh, Flout Games who make Cascadia. So It doesn't feel like Cascadia. Yeah, but it does have that familiar. It reminds me of a different game we played similar with the flowers. Oh, uh, Floral. I can't remember what it was. Yeah. But it feels familiar to me. So why did you grade but it? I would give it. I would give it a seven. Hmm. It, I like it. It's a good game. There's nothing wrong with this game. I think it's because it it feels familiar to me, hmm. and I I prefer more take that in games. It's it's more your um, which. It depends on what mood you're in. There's yeah. times when I'm in the mood for this type of game where I just want to be relaxed and... Oh, yeah. This is a really relaxing game. It's relaxing. Game. It's not... It's not... It's competitive, but then it also is more like a single solitaire. So mm -hmm. it's... You're just focusing on your own tableau area. Right. So if you're into that type of game or if you're in the mood for that type of game, mm -hmm. this is a great game. Mm -hmm. I just give it a seven because it does feel familiar to me. It's not new i guess and so we do have a oh. a lot of games so <laughs> i'm really picky on my games but it is a good game there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with this game just for me personally I, I like these type of games i do like mm -hmm. them but we so. i feel like we have several like this yeah so that's the only reason but definitely if you enjoy this type of game or if you want a game that's more relaxed where you kind of know at the end who wins um Definitely, you should check this out. It is a fun game. There's mm -hmm. nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with it. <laughs> um, and we will put the link in the description. Hopefully, this helped you to decide if this is something you would enjoy. Um, please feel free to leave a comment. We'll, um, we do read them daily. Please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.